Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is a series showing you how to get data from an external API and display it on your Wix website. Until now, what we've done is read the API documentation, stored a secret in the Wix secret manager and accessed it in the backend. We set up our fetch function using the Wix fetch API. And I showed you in the previous episode how to install an NPM package in the case that you need it for your API call. Now that we've successfully made the API call with this get characters function, when I run the function, I'm going to get rid of this previous call and I'm going to run the function, then you see that we get back this response and in it we have something called data and we have results and these results are basically what we want to be passing to the front end. And in order to do that, we just need to add one last thing to our function, which is to return a value from our function. And that value will be character list dot data dot results. And that is basically the array that you just saw with all the characters. So I no longer need to console that over here. And now I'm going to show you how to access this function from the front end. So let's close these things that I don't need. And I'm going to the front end code for our page. So this is our page uh, in the editor. And this is the Velo code for this page on the front end. And I called this page external A API. And in order to access the backend function that we created, we need to import it. So I'm going to import. And then here we're going to have the name of the function, which is get characters. And we're going to import that from backend. And here you could already see that the autocomplete has the module that we are calling it from, which is Marvel. Now I can use this function in the front end. So for example, if I write here, um, I'm going to need to create a wrapper function because this is an asynchronous action. So I'm going to say const create, no, not create. That's not a good idea. Let's say populate repeater because that's what we're going to be doing later on in our code. And you can name your functions, obviously, whatever you want. And inside of this function, we are going to get our characters. So we need to make this an asynchronous function. And then we're going to have const the characters equals await get characters. OK? And now this character should be that array that comes back from our API call. And what we can do here is just console.log our characters. And now if I preview our website, and let's not forget to call this function, populate repeater. Obviously, it's not populating the repeater yet, but it is getting our list of characters, which is the data that we're going to use to populate our repeater. So let's preview that. And if I go here, we can see that we get our array here. OK, so this is all the characters that we need. This is the data that we need in order to populate our repeater in the front end. So that is how you get the data that you got from the external API in the back end and access it in the front end. And in the next video, I will be showing you how to use that data to populate a repeater. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.